First of all, tell me about your family. How long have they been in northern Mississippi? I understand that uh, the tracing that we've done, uh, the Butlers came out of the Carolinas in about 1934. And some of them dropped off here and in Tennessee, which Tennessee is just three miles away. So sure. along the Tennessee line. And some of them went on to Texas. So we're, we're an old... We're an old family. Back generations then yes, sir. here. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, you mentioned your father earlier. Tell me about your, your dad. Uh, my father was was probably a third generation moonshiner. Excellent. And because uh, he died in 1961, which the moonshining business had, had begun to, to subside then. Okay. It wasn't as lucrative as it was in the probably the 40s and the 50s. Uh, it was a little more. It was a little more dangerous to do, and it was uh, not as rewarding as it was in the earlier days. And when I was a child, my first job as a was probably a eight or nine year old boy, and I would take bottles from the knee high plant, gallon jugs from the knee high local bottling company and wash them out and prepare them for the next shipment, the next production of moonshine. Mm -hmm. And as a kid, I just didn't think there was anything more fun than being out in the woods, out in the countryside, with a branch dammed up for a water supply and uh, seeing the, the, the operation of, of a moonshine still.